Hi, my name is Ben Heckler. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon and head neck surgeon here at Duke University Hospitals in Durham, North Carolina. Today I'd like to show you how to perform an oral examination, particularly when looking for oral lesions, and how the telescope can be used to capture images of those lesions. i first like to show you how I do my oral examination. It can be done differently, but I do recommend a sequential approach. So I start by having the patient open her mouth. We'll start on the right buccal mucosa and then move forward into the mandibular vestibule and the labial mucosa. And then I move to the contralateral side, again, looking at the vestibule and buccal mucosa. I'll then have the patient bite down. This allows us to look at the maxillary vestibule and labial mucosa. The patient then opens, and we can inspect as well as palpate the roof of the mouth. I then have the patient say, ah, uh. allows me to look at the throat and the anterior tonsillar pillars. I'll then usually have the patient put her tongue in her left cheek here, we can see the right lateral surface of the tongue and floor of mouth. The tongue then goes to the other side over here to allow us again to see the contralateral side. I usually palpate during the exam as well, particularly in areas that are amenable to it. The one nice thing about the telescope is when we do find an image that we want to capture, we can very easily pull out our device and either take a photo or video of the lesion. So if we were to see a lesion in the floor of the mouth here, we could very easily capture that at the appropriate zoom, take a photograph of that real quickly, and put that in the patient's medical record. That's how I do an oral exam for lesions in the mouth, and that's how we capture images using the telescope.